What's going on everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about my personal portfolio and what coins I'm holding for this cycle. I'm going to go through all the coins I hold. I'm just going to give a quick little brief uh, description about them and where I think they're going to go. And you know, without any further ado, let's get into this actually. So let's 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 get going. Uh, Mana here is Decentraland, right? Decentraland is the blockchain, the uh, the the system, whatever the uh, the project. Uh, mana is the native coin for that project. You use mana to buy land in Decentraland, and every time you do that, the mana coin is destroyed. It's burned. So it in itself inherently is a deflationary asset. It is. Over time, to buy land, you have to use mana, and every time you do that, that mana gets destroyed. Um, I do expect, you know, just like last cycle from high to low, we broke above the 1886. I do expect we'll break above the 1886 for this cycle as well. But we've also done that here from this high to low. We broke above the 1886, even from the middle of our bear market here, this little like center point, we moved down, had a break, moved down more. If we take our low from here to our high from there. We also went to the 1886 there. So we do like the 1886. We've definitely shown that time and time again from the current high to low that we have this cycle. The 1886 is all the way up at 98, $99. And we've gone just above it the last two cycles or the last two highs, significant highs that we've had. So I would expect that we go to $100 or higher. Mana's worth $67, $68 now. What would that do for mana? I've already done the math so many times, man. So I know essentially right now that kind of movement would be about a 145x. We would see mana being worth about 180 to 190 billion dollars in market cap valuation. It's been around for multiple cycles. It's been around for one, two bear cycles, one full bull cycle in the ass end of another, and we're starting our second. I think it deserves a market cap of over $100 billion. I absolutely do think it does. Uh, every OG token in this space, whether it's Bitcoin, the OG token itself, it's the Mac Daddy. Ethereum is the OG smart, uh, smart contract token. It's the Mac Daddy of smart contract tokens. Um, and it's the second you know, overall. Dogecoin is the Mac Daddy of the memes. It's the OG and it does really well. Uh, it's, it's got the highest market cap of meme coins. BNB, Binance, is the OG uh, exchange token, right? And it's the best one out of all of them. Um, though truthfully, BNB probably could have been like the last exchange token to come about and it probably would still do well because uh, uh, it's the most popular exchange. Um, XRP, right, is the OG kind of like banking token or whatever and it it's the best out of all of them as far as market cap goes. Uh, Mana is the OG Decentraland or uh, Metaverse token. I would expect that it does the best, holds holds a very high market cap for itself, and I do think that it deserves. Being that it's been around for multiple cycles, you don't see cryptos get above a hundred billion dollars unless they've been around for multiple cycles. And I think this thing absolutely deserves those prices, even if it doesn't see a hundred dollars, which I, I do expect it will. Even if it doesn't see a hundred, if it sees fifty, that's still phenomenal growth, guys. It's still phenomenal growth. So that's Mana. Let's move on to the next one. Next one for the day is Compound. Compound is one of my bigger holds. It's been around for a lot less time. And as of right now, it's worth $78. I think, you guys, Compound could be worth as much as 8800 maybe even a little bit higher than that by the end of this cycle. Okay, From the current price of about $78 that would give compound a 112 one, or sorry 114 almost 115x in growth. If it doesn't see that, you know, we have a very nice 1414 down here which is still about a 53x and the 1272 bringing us in at a 31x. So that's that's a nice minimum, middle and maximum. We could go higher it is possible, but uh compound itself, let's just see here. Compound is worth $114 million in market cap valuation. Let's call it 115, right? Google Calculator. 115 times potentially this high of like 110x. 110. That would give us a $12.6 billion market cap. That is absolutely an achievable market cap for something like this to do. Absolutely it is. Uh, Compound is a DeFi token. You can lend, you can stake, you can borrow with it. Um, and that's why I like it, man. It's, it's one of my bigger holds, mainly because uh, I actually like the chart. I like the way the chart looks a lot. This 
just huge sell-off with a nice phase of accumulation, beautiful phase of accumulation that we were in from uh, June, arguably May, but let's say June of 2022, and we just broke out of it in February of this year. Um, back testing it for support, looking good, man. I mean, I just I have a very, very good feeling about this one, and I think that it will it will end. It, the end result will be worth several thousands of dollars to the upside. I, I would at least expect four grand, really. But I, I really do think this $8,886 price target is um, is completely possible and potentially even beyond that. But that's compound. Let's talk next about XCN. This is my most recent purchase, actually, or not my technically not my most recent purchase. My most recent recent purchase was uh, pajamas. Um, but we'll go over that. We'll go over that too. Uh, you know, the smallest amount of of crypto that I own is pajamas. Okay, so don't put your money into pajamas. Do it. Put all your money into pajamas. Pump my bags. You know, but it's it's my smallest hold. It's my smallest hold. Is the music still playing? No. High to low. 382 hit. Nice. Okay, sorry. Uh, looking at this thing for what it's worth, kind of the same thing as compound. You had a dramatic sell-off. I really, really do like this rounded bottom that you have with the immense volume that came in, right? You went down real hard. You flattened out, rounded out, and had immense volume come in that you've never seen before. There's definitely interest in this thing. It in itself is also a decentralized finance token. You can lend, you can stake, you can borrow. Um, there's more to it than just that. Um, part of which, actually, if we look at XCN here. Oh, wow, that was storage. I did the math on storage, not on compound. Oh, wow. My bad, guys. 536 million. That's a big goof. Hold on. Let's do that real quick. 536 million times, uh, what was it? My bad, guys. My bad. I clicked back. I didn't click. Uh, that's what it was. Uh, times 110. Yeah, 110. Still, $60, $60 billion market cap, yeah, I absolutely think that that's possible as well. That is a higher market cap, absolutely. That's higher than, uh, than what I had a second ago. What was it? Then $13 billion, $12.6 billion. Absolutely, that's a lot higher, but $60 billion is still achievable. But maybe maybe we can't see quite past that, okay? Maybe maybe 9000 is as high as we go. Um, I doubt we'd see 24K with that kind of notion, but uh, XCN, my bad, man. A little bit of a goof up there, but hey, we're rolling. Uh, high to low, 42 cents, two dollars 42 cents. Which one could it be? If we look at XCN on CoinGecko here, um, we're at an $85 million market cap. The lowest market cap that I hold actually is XCN. Actually, no, it would technically be uh, technically pajamas, but then Jesus coin and then XCN, uh, eighty-five thousand or eighty-five million. We do eighty-five times potential growth all the way up to two forty-two would be an eight hundred and four x. Okay, eight hundred and four. That would give us a sixty-eight billion dollar market cap. Now, is that a high market cap? Yes, but is it an achievable market cap? Absolutely, it is. Um, this will be its first bull cycle, so that remains to be seen. But even if we don't see that kind of growth, the minimum expected target would be at about 114x from here. So still phenomenal growth to go. This thing, I think, is one of the one of the coins that I'm more certain of that has still over 100x potential. Um, so yeah, very, very good one, I think, in my opinion. Um, I don't want to spend too much more time talking about it. I do plan on doing a comparison video between onyx coin ave and compound but i don't want to spend too much time talking about it now so that i don't you know uh i don't know drone on i have a lot that i want to say about them and compare them and see which one could arguably be the, the best choice um but i don't i don't want to go over that right now uh, this is just a quick little what i'm holding why i'm holding it where i think it could go um, apparently, I like DeFi tokens, man, because because a solid bit of my portfolio is DeFi tokens. I do hold some GTC as well. I've actually sold my Radical. I did hold some Radical, um, and I, I just swapped it into GTC recently today. Um, I'm just actually all holding GTC. GTC, to my knowledge, is a uh, unless they've changed. I haven't. I should look into it. It's been a second since I've looked into it. But when I looked into it back here, like back when it first came out, it's essentially like like GitHub, but decentralized. 
it's like Gitcoin, it's like GitHub, but decentralized, which GitHub is a place where people can post their code, their uh, algorithm, algorithms and stuff, and it's all free, right? It's just like open source stuff. Um, but they've proven to kind of go against what they initially set out to be, where Gitcoin, I think, is more trying to be a decentralized version of GitHub so that it can remain pure in that cert sort of uh, respect. Anyways, I think it's a unique idea, um, and I, I think that it has the potential to grow as well. It's worth, let's see, GTC. It might actually be worth even less than Onyx. Let's see. No, it's worth a little bit more. Okay, 126 million. 126 million. If you were to see it grow all the way up to a 38x, that's its minimum kind of expected target, with the 1618 being at 125x, 27x, something like that. Um, absolutely, I think $270 is possible for this thing. It's worth $2.07 now. Absolutely, I think that's possible. Even beyond that, it's possible. But uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it has tremendous potential and it definitely a 100xable coin even from its current growth. I love seeing things that like dump off really hard. They dump off probably, what was it, 90%? Yeah, 97% and it's got some decent volume coming back into it. Nice phase of accumulation rounding out coming up. I'd like to see it do well. It is one of my smaller holdings, but it's it's one of my holdings nonetheless. And I actually doubled down on it recently, so um, by swapping it with my my rad, um, Blue Zell. Blue Zell is the next one that I want to talk about. This is a gaming uh, storage blockchain coin. It's it's essentially a gaming coin, but they're they're based on like data storage for gaming, as far as as far as I know. Um, if we do on Binance here, what I like about Blue Zell is that essentially its whole chart is this consolidation phase, right? It doesn't uh, it doesn't have higher highs. It's not the most bullish looking chart, but there are bullish things that you might not notice unless you did some more like research on it, right? So, so and I'll go over that real quick, real briefly here, but you do have higher lows from cycle to cycle. It is one of the few coins that's in crypto that has higher lows cycle to cycle. There are a lot of coins that do, don't get me wrong, but the majority, majority of coins that have been around for multiple cycles don't see higher lows. Um, and they don't see higher highs. So you don't have higher highs, which I guess is a negative aspect. And you don't have higher lows, which is also a uh, positive aspect. Really though, a phase of uh, consolidation. And if you do break out and you break this high, that would just further uh, emphasize that literally this whole formation that we have here is in fact a bullish kind of phase of consolidation. I want to go over this real quick. The biggest month that we had here was all the way back here in volume. It was worth 1.34 billion in blue cells, right? Let's call it 1.35. The month over here was 911, then you had 1.14. The month after you had 946. So only two months were worth over a billion. And the months preceding those or, or, or after those, or before those, sorry, uh, were worth less than a billion. If we go to Bluezell, BLZ, USD, T on BL, BZL, BLZ, my bad. Um, on Binance, Binance being the biggest exchange for crypto in the world, the USDT pair being the most traded pair in the world is worth on volume 7.98 billion. Again, the highest volume that we saw before was like 1.35. This is 7.98. The month afterwards was 4.5, dramatically higher than even the biggest month on the, uh, on the other chart, the all time history chart. And this was 2.97 still more than double what we saw on that month. So for the three months preceding, I mean, we had dramatically more volume coming out of this low. Now I want to go back to the previous one. It looks like we don't have a lot of volume here, but again, this was, this chart existed before the USDT pair where the chart, the USDT chart itself, um, since its existence has seen dramatically more volume coming out of this low. So what you've got is a low here, a higher low cycle after cycle with dramatically more interest in the form of buying, okay? I think Bluezell has a lot of potential in it. It's worth 41 and a half cents right now. I very much do believe that we could see prices as high as $100 by the end of the cycle. The 1886 for this coin is all the way up at $86 and I see no reason why we couldn't go to $100. Uh, the market cap checks out for that. I'm not gonna do the math for that at all. I just, I kinda wanna run through these and give you guys like what I hold and where I think it could go and why I hold it. Um, and Bluezell, man, it's it had my interest, man. I bought it, I actually did buy it back here. I was probably one of the first people in crypto to, to buy it um, 
but I, I did sell it. It did go, it went down a lot for me, man. I probably sold it down here. I don't know. And I just, I forgot about it. Inevitably, it went back up. And then somebody, whenever I was uh, making videos last year, brought it up when we were down in this range. Actually, maybe it was like after this month itself. And I was like, oh yeah, Blue Cell. I forgot about that. Looked, looked into it and I'm like, yeah, I remember why I like this thing. I noticed how much volume was coming in. I'm like, damn, dude, this, this could do well. This could do very well. It really could, man. I think it's got some pent up aggression and wants to let out to the upside. And even at a minimum, even at a minimum, that would come to us in the form of a 10X, which, hey, I'll take it, man. But the 1618 being worth 59X, the 1886 being at a 233X. I genuinely do believe that we will see. I don't know why it's, oh, it's because I had it there. There we go, sorry. Uh, the 1886 being worth a, still over a 200x, um, I think is definitely achievable. And I think that we will see even past that. We'll see $100 or more. If we don't see $100, we could see the 90s into the 90s. But I think that $100 area, very close to this 1886, will be a psychological area of resistance. Um, but anyways, that's Blue Zell. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is storage, Store J. Kind of like GTC for me. You know, it's one of my smaller holds, but... Uh, um, something that's interesting nonetheless. I, I hold it just to kind of have exposure in the same kind of niche area as Bluezell. It's a gaming storage token as well. Storage, storage A, storage, it's it's the same thing. Um, and uh, and obviously they're different, but storage has a pretty similar market cap to Bluezell. I think in that sense, it does stand to have similar growth. It's been around longer too. It's been around for multiple, uh, well actually, it has been around longer, yeah, since 2017. So it actually did see the end of the bull uh, cycle, but just barely longer. Um, the minimum target that we would have from the current price, and actually I think I have that drawn wrong. Maybe not, yeah, we'll take the all-time high. Would be $9.05, which would give us essentially an 11X. The 1618 is the maximum kind of expected area, which would be at a 32, a 33X, but absolutely you could see your 1886 uh, bringing you up to a 72x, you could even see your 2272 being all the way up at $186. So I think storage itself has a lot of uh, good things going for it as well. If we look at this, I wonder. I actually haven't done this before. If we look at the volume there, and then we go store J USDT on Binance, we do see more volume, man. We see a lot more volume, don't we? Let's see the highest one here, 1.21 billion. Versus over here, it was 333 million. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Storage J, Storage J could do really well, man. Storage. Um, but I do personally, I I kind of like Blue Zell more. Um, I should do a comparison video on both of these two. Maybe I'll talk myself into buying some storage. Um, but both of these coins, I think, are absolutely 100 xable even from their current prices by the end of the cycle. So. That's why I hold it. It's not one of my biggest holds, but uh, you know, it's it's one that I do consider buying more of often. But then I think about buying more Blue Zell. I think about buying, I don't know, more Bitcoin Cash. Like you know, you never know. Um, anyways, um, have we talked about Bitcoin Cash? Man, I forget if we've talked about Bitcoin Cash. Oh man, that's not good. I hold Bitcoin Cash, guys. It's worth 480 right now, 490. I think it will go up to $23,000 by the end of the cycle. I'm not gonna go into the analysis because I'm pretty sure I did talk about it, but if I didn't, I might be getting that confused with my video from earlier. And in which case, I'm, I just made a video on Bitcoin Cash, so hopefully that uh, that helps. But I do hold Bitcoin Cash, it's one of my biggest holds, if I haven't said that already. Uh, it's getting toward the end of the night for me, man. Um, Let's see. I also hold some pajamas. I hold some pajamas, man. I actually bought this coin recently, the other day. I bought it during this wick up here. I bought it lower than the current price now, um, but I had to suffer a little bit as it is with meme coins. Pajamas is the first YouTube cat or whatever, as it's called. I really don't know much about the meme itself. I was in on this uh, Twitter space, this X space. I bought like right around here. So I, I lost I lost 42% by the 
before I finally started to see some green. At the most, I was up 22%, and now I'm only up like 4%, which is which is fine, whatever. Uh, I put this is the smallest hold that I have. The smallest amount of crypto that I own is in pajamas. I put in like 600 bucks, uh, and I'm kind of just letting it ride or die, man. I had I had some leftover money from some airdrops uh, that I had back from that Luna C, Luna Luna Two fiasco stuff. Uh, Luna 2 was made essentially to airdrop the Luna C and UST holders, uh, or TUST, I forget what it is, um, TUSD, whatever, whatever the uh, the US dollar tether was for Luna. Um, I had some leftover funds from that, from the airdrop, so I just put it in, in here, and I'm letting it ride or die, man. Uh, if it goes up to its 1272, its minimum extension, it could happen soon, man. It's a meme coin. You never know with these kind of things, man. It could see a lot of growth, and it's pretty new. It's very low market cap. It's worth, as of right now, it's probably worth less than a $5 million market cap. Um, but that would be a 8x, 8.5x, the 1618 all the way up here. That'd be a 22x, and those kind of moves would not take the end of the cycle to achieve. That would take, like, potentially the next week or two, the next month or two, like, something like that. So this is a short-term play. I'm just planning on holding it and then getting out of it, but who knows, man. It's it's a very low cap. You could, you could see it do phenomenal things. Um, it really could if it catches as a meme. Like, you could see multi-100x. You could see with a $5 million market cap – less than that even, a 1,000x would be a $5 billion market cap. $5 billion. It's a lot. From $5 million to $5 billion is a lot, but it is an achievable uh, thing to do, right? Uh, it's absolutely achievable to do. So 1,000x is possible with this coin, but I'm, I'm not going to be holding on to it even for – Probably even for like a hundred X, I probably won't even be holding on to it for. But a twenty X, a ten X, something like that, I will. Uh, but yeah, just a chance maybe at turning six hundred dollars into six grand or twelve grand or something like that, you know, just for fun. Can go on vacation with that. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that's pajamas. Just just a kind of BS meme coin that I decided to buy. I was in an X space and. Uh, these guys are talking it up. The YouTube founder himself apparently owns this, Steve, whatever his name is, Steven, I, I don't know. Um, and apparently all the devs left, and it's just community back to now. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, I bought it on a whim, and it might it might do well, man. It might do well. I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's pajamas. The uh, last coin that I'll talk about, I think this is, let me think. Let me just think if I've talked about everything. I think I've talked about everything. I'm going off the top of my head here, man. I don't know. Jesus. Jesus coin is definitely one that I hold. 295K in volume over the last day. That is a mess of a chart. We're going to clean it up real quick here. Um, Jesus coins worth six zeros. Point six zeros one three six nine right now uh it's also got a market cap i think what is it like 25 million let's see or maybe less now because it's, it's dropped recently let's see 21 21 million um being worth 21 million dollars in a market cap is uh is very low you have a lot of potential for growth with this jesus coin itself is a meme coin as well and it I don't know, man. It's got a special place in my heart. I've kind of been with this thing. I've been doing TA on it since, uh, was it back here? I forget if it was either here or here. Maybe it was down here. But I've been I've been following it since it was back in this area. Didn't buy until this day here. Made my first purchase there. I was never planning on buying it. But you guys, there are people out there that just kept requesting it. And then I looked into it a little bit more. And I was like, okay. I, you know, this is a meme coin I can get behind. Uh, the people in the community are very good people i think you know it is it is a christian based coin um and that's that's just something you know if that's for you if it's not for you whatever but you don't have to be christian to own it um you just you know you just have to see the potential in it i suppose uh it is they they say a, a faith based coin or a community I, I don't know what what technically it is but uh they do make donations with this they do uh yeah, what what is it? I think donations. 
they have a wallet where you can do donations with it. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I feel like I'm really airballing it on this one, man. I'm not trying to, but it's the end of the video, so I'm not going to restart it just for this coin. But what I'm trying to say is that I think Jesus coin has uh, serious potential. I really do think that it does have serious potential. It's the, uh, you know, it's, it's at a very low market cap right now. It's seen a dramatic pullback from its most recent highs. It has shown that it can grow, you know, high after high. Um, and there are a lot of a lot of spin-offs from Jesus Coin itself. If you type in Jesus here, maybe let's see. There's maybe I should do it on here. Jesus, there's Raptor Jesus, there's Jesus on Soul. There's more than just this. I don't know. Let me see if, if it'll No, it just does that. I don't know. But there's there's a bunch of different Jesus spin-offs. I think that uh what is it called? Copying is the most complimentary form of flattery. I, I, what, what do they say, man? You guys, I'm really drawing a blank here. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, I don't think Jesus Coin's bad, though. I think it has a lot of potential. I do think it could go down more from here, but I bought in early. I bought in very early, and I bought in late. I did. I bought my, my last purchase on Jesus Coin was actually at the top. Um, did I buy more? No, I did not. I did not buy more on these lows. No. Um, if if I were to buy more, I would buy more down at this 618 at 7045 area. Um, that would be where I'd buy more. If we don't go down there, cool, whatever. I have enough where I'm I'm comfortable with it, man. If it goes up, it goes up. I really could see this coin being worth a billion dollars, multiple billions of dollars by the end of the cycle. And from its current price, let's just do the math on that real quick, actually. Um, you know, at 21 million, a 100x would be 210 million. Or no, no, sorry, that's that's a 10x. A 100x would be 2.1 billion. So that's 100x being worth 2.1 billion. If it was to see a 10 billion dollar market cap, a 20 billion dollar market cap, a 21 billion dollar market cap would be a 1,000x from here. I don't know if it has 1,000x potential in it from its current price. I should say it does. It's a possibility, but I would more look for something that's like 100x. Uh, potentially even like a 500x somewhere in there something between like a one to ten billion dollar market cap is achievable so even from here if it doesn't see a 2.1 billion dollar market cap a one billion dollar market cap would still provide a 50x which which would still be phenomenal so uh, right yeah yeah that's what it would be so I don't know man just another meme coin that that I really like, um, and I feel like I'm I'm doing it a disservice with the way that I've been talking about it in this video. I got I got like sidetracked or distracted with my brain there, man. I don't know. It's it's the end of the day. It's the end of the day. I'm tired. I really am, and I can't speak flawlessly all the time, and I often don't. But the community, you guys, the Jesus Coin community, is something special in my opinion. Uh, they do crypto church every single day. Uh, shout out to George who does uh, the what is it Bible in a Year uh, podcast on X.com. Um, I've, I've been meaning to step in on there, man, but I just I, I don't have time on the days that you're doing it. It's not a good day for me, unfortunately. But hopefully, I can in the coming future. I'll be able to. Uh, I'd like I'd love to link up with you again, George. If you're watching this one, man, I'd love to link up with you again because George is a homie, man. He's a real one. He definitely convinced me to buy some. Frelton Alves, I think, was the first person to request this coin, but George. You're the one that definitely convinced me to get into it. Um, and yeah, man, I, th I think it's got a lot of potential in it. I definitely do. From this high to low, we could go all the way up to this 1618 for the next move. That'd give us a 13x from here, from its current price, let alone if it sees a 2272, which would be a 46x. And that could be where it tops off for the cycle up here potentially even up here, you know, some somewhere around that zone. If not, we really could go higher. Like we really could see multiple hundreds of Xs. But people keep asking me where I see the, the highs going for Jesus, like the highest points that I could see it going. And I, I think that it could see the land of the three zeros. I think it could. But that's like where we meet our limitations, I think, would be the land of the three zeros. And just for perspective, what that would mean from the current price, well, what that would mean... Am I doing this right? Oh yeah, I'm already above it. That'd be essentially a 769x from here. 
Okay, so that's it's phenomenal growth, but that would also boast a really hard, like a really high market cap. Um, let's see, let's do it real quick. 21.388. Come on now. Times 77.8. 77.8. That would be a $16.6 billion market cap. And yes, for, for every coin that we've talked about, that's actually like one of the lower ones, if not the lowest market cap we've talked about potentially hitting. Uh, and it is a very achievable market cap to do. But for Jesus coin to hit that kind of market cap, it would have to achieve some sort of traction, a lot more of a following than it has now. It would have to get a, lo a lot more attention than it does now. Um, but it is possible. For those of you that don't know, you look at this here and you see the uh, circulating supply versus the total supply. These coins that are circulating, these are all the coins that will ever exist. There are no more coins out there to, so like it says the fully diluted supply is this, but it'll the, the supply will never get more diluted. Those coins were sent to a burn address and it never actually got burned, um, but it's in, it's in the pink wallet. Uh, which, which is a coin, it's a wallet that things are sent to to get burned, to get locked away forever and never be utilized again, essentially. So it's, it, it's these coins aren't burned and that's why it shows this still. They were meant to get burned, but the, uh, the founder, the creator of it, he made a mistake and essentially it is burned. And I know, I know that sounds almost kind of like a scam in itself, but if you look more into it, you can, you can see for yourself, like it's, it's a legitimate thing, man. And it was a legitimate mistake. People do legitimately make mistakes and, uh, Essentially, these coins, it's the same thing as like Satoshi's wallet, right? Those coins in Satoshi's wallet are presumably never going to move ever, ever, ever again. For, for the Bitcoin wallet, for Satoshi's wallet, they've, they haven't moved since like around the last time that we, we saw Satoshi uh, making interactions with people, right? Um, there are like a few movements from there, but it just essentially never, it's never uh, moved since like, like in years, in over a decade. How many? Yeah, well over a decade. Going on a decade and a half, actually. Um, but they're still there, right? They're still there. And that's what I'm trying to say is like, these coins are still here. They still do exist technically, but they're never going to be moved. They're, they're as good as being burned. Um, and yeah, that's, I don't know. That's, that's the best that I can say. Man, I'm pooped. I'm running out of steam, so... With that, guys, I leave you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it was good. Uh, sorry to the Jesus Coin community for for really just like being lackluster on that last bit here, you guys. I really do love Jesus Coin a lot more than uh, than I feel like I let on for this last part, but maybe that's why I'm giving it more special attention. But anyways, guys, anyways, that's all that I hold. I hold Compound, Bitcoin Cash, Mana, Storage, Blue Zell, Jesus Coin, Pajamas, I feel like I'm missing something, man. GTC. Uh, I used to hold Radical, but I don't hold Radical anymore. I used to hold some Luna 2, but I don't hold Luna 2 anymore. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something, but if, if it comes up, I'll, I'll remember it. I'll, I'll bring it up in another video. But Oh, XCN. XCN, yeah, that, that one. I, just made, I recently just purchased that one. So, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.